Alrighty everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Ryan Amancio, um, aka the most inconsistent YouTube poster. Uh, that, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. This race has already been like a week um, after, of course. Um, but it's finally coming out. I I don't know, it just took way too long and I don't know, I just didn't really find any motivation to edit it, so I was editing it bit by bit until I finished it. But Today we got a very much different type of video. We're here at Heemans, but in the middle of this video we have a little mini vlog with Giano on the start. So if you want to just watch that, you can just skip it, try to find it. I think it's at like the 10 minute mark. But if you do want to watch the whole video, like a good person, and uh, just stay till you know uh, that part comes up, I would also very much appreciate it. But anyway, we're here at Heemans Saturday. As you see, um, it didn't rain. I mean, it did rain, but it didn't rain this day, nor the day before, and it was already like, under, underwater in some spots, but um, it wasn't that bad. Honestly, this is probably the best race we had this year at J-Day that wasn't a mutter, but it was very much slick that first moto, and Sunday, I'm honestly surprised we raced, but the track did come out much better, so uh, stay tuned, I'll probably be posting the next video like next year or something. I'm just playing. Yeah, I'll probably post it somewhere like in two or three days. I don't know. But um, I'm think the first person to actually come all the way down here to this track. The Pee Wee's they would cut off right here to the right, and yeah. Um, first lap, I opened up a really big gap mainly because of that mud section um, right off the start. I was just able to get by that really fast and just get going. And here, I'm. For, I had no idea where I was going. I mean, I had somewhat of an idea because I biked it once. We got there like midnight and I uh, woke up a little late. But I was very sad that they took out the, um, the like tabletop on the top of that hill. Um, I was expecting, you know, to hit it, but it wasn't there. So I, I wonder why they took it off. I'm not really sure, but I wish they still kept it there. But they didn't. Anyway, so first lap completed. Um, in the books here I decide to absolutely launch it very very far I almost over jumped this actually right here boom look at that a little scrub on top add some style right here I also decide to send it really really far boom another scrub right there I mean James Stewart technically just call me James Stewart um, no but actually I uh, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know how much I had to be throttling uh, last time I was here last year, I didn't even hit the triple, uh, which was after the tabletop. So this was my first year hitting it. Um, as you can see, here's the mud fest after the start. It was just really sloppy right there, and then here it was really, I don't know, it was weird. There's ruts all over the place. But the technique here, especially going through mud, is to um, be throttling like a lot, like half clutch because that keeps your RPMs high and when your RPMs high it, your, your bike vibrates a lot and when it vibrates a lot you have a lot more downforce you know it your bike stays more glued to the ground so it makes it easier to get through mud comparing to just trying to be like all technique and whatever I mean that could work but on the super mini I don't think that would work um, you have to like half throttle I don't know, half clutch and like full throttle like just keep the RPMs really high. Here, I laid it over. I saw the stump and I just kind of laid it over. I don't know. I just that stump. It wasn't even in the way. Just as soon as you do that corner, it's the first thing you see. So I just decided to lay it over. I, I don't know why. This section here gets really bad. Keep watching more towards the end. Um, so you see how bad this is. I almost get stuck in this. So here. I was just off balance right there, so I stopped throttling. I didn't actually almost get stuck. But I mean, here, it was just a mess. And keep in mind, guys, this is like third lap in the first motor for some Like, no Pee Wees came down here. This is just like three laps of just youth riders. 
So, I'm pretty sure they took it off right after we finished, because, you know, C-Class probably wouldn't have the funnest time with that. Here, this was so deep, it didn't even look like it, but jeez, it was deep. Um, that was, like, the last time we did go through that, in, um, like, the, throughout the whole weekend. After this first moto, they took out, like, half of the things. White flag signifying last lap. Here, uh, I saw a lot of yellow flags and a lot of people on the track. I was very, very confused. And here they told us to turn over. So what happened, what I heard happen, a kid went and jumped and um, went over the bars, laying down his head, and the bike laying on his head or something like that, and he was just out immediately. So um, I don't know who that kid was, but I hope he's okay. You know, if he's not okay after a week, then that's a problem. <laughs> but, um, no, I actually hope he's okay, and, uh, I hope he was well. There's Kendall, you know, getting me muddy, as usual. Messing me up, you know, the vision. But, um, here, I'm just trying to square through lappers. This is probably my worst lap of the whole moto. Um, I did cut out more of the embarrassing stuff. I hit a tree straight on, and, um, I didn't cry. I hit it, like, at three miles an hour. I just... Hit the tree, backed up, went away. It was, I don't know, really slick. I was all over the place, but um, we did come out on top for this first moto. Um, I think I won by like 17 seconds. I took a chill pill more towards the last lap and just played around. Just challenged myself to do things. But um, yeah, there's first moto in the books. Uh, enjoy this little mini vlog with Giano. If you want to see more of this, uh, let me know. And if you want some vlogs too, let me know. I'll probably like try to get some in at some races. But yeah, enjoy. Hey, hey, hey. Talk to the vlog. All right, all right, guys. So essentially, Ryan is pulling the whole shot in. <laughs> yeah, Ryan with the helmet. So, uh, so we're we're gonna we're gonna get this done. Vlog with the helmet. Yep, yep, yep. Go trash talk some people. Guys, right, so everybody else on this line is garbage. <laughs> no, 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 you trash talk some people and then forget you're with my helmet. Why is that? Anyway, this is the winner. This is the winner right here. I'm the filmer. I use this helmet. You don't even need a helmet, honestly. I'm not I'm not going to do I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do What's the word of the day? Huh? What's the word of the day? Word of the day is just because you're stuck in the storm doesn't mean the game is over. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it that. I'll do it that. I agree. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I was thinking. So when Ryan is stuck in the mud, essentially, when I'm stuck in the mud, don't mean the race is over. Exactly. Exactly. Doesn't mean. All right. All right. Okay, back to me, everyone. Kill, kill helmet and helmet camera thing. Now. Well, I hope that was enjoyable. I don't even know that, that, that what that was. It was just good vibes all around, and I don't know. We ended up making a mini vlog. Gian just kind of took my helmet and was like. Huh. Let's do something. So here we go, second moto for Super Mini. We get to start once again. Landon. I'm pretty sure that's Landon. Um, he gets to the first corner first, and the second corner, instead of me passing him, it was Hammy. But I did end up passing Hammy after this third corner right here. Keep in mind, this is all brand new as well. Um, just the new track that they invented up. I, uh, I almost had a big get off on the Sunday. So, uh, I don't know when I was in the video. I'm not even gonna say when or whatever, because you know, um, <laughs> I, I have a problem with that. I don't know why. But sometime soon, that video should come out one day, hopefully. And
and you guys can see what happened. I did end up saving it though. So we come back through here. I have no idea, like I said, I have no idea where I'm going. So I'm just going by experience wise because I've raced this e man's race. I think six years. And this used to be the Pewee track, just backwards. And I'm just kind of going off memory on where it would go. So I have some sort of idea what I'm doing. But um, this section here was insanely slick. Like it had no reason to be as slick as it was. And it just got worse and worse as the track was going on, as the racing was going on. See some standing water. I went through every single one of them because I didn't know I was there. Here, a kid, as you see right there, I like slide out. Um, like I said, as the motor was going on, it was getting worse and worse. But boom, lap one in the books. A whole lot of more to go because the lap times were two minutes faster than first moto because it was way shorter. Here going wide, you can see him right there to the left. Big whip over the tabletop. I didn't whip guys, I I don't really know how to whip. <laughs> Here, hit the triple nice and easy. Perfectly actually. Such a satisfying jump, honestly. It's, I would so go back there just to hit the jump, then go back home. But, yeah, I mean nothing really happened much in the second moto. I didn't go down. Um, there is a kid that does go down though. I, uh, it wasn't bad. I got it on on the video, of course. And I, I almost had a, I almost had a boulder. So keep watching if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty much a fun moto over jumping that really big. There's the kids. They're all honestly awesome. Just there motivating you. And yeah, now we got into lap lap traffic. I am. Um, I got into lap traffic by the end of, in the middle of second lap, at the end of first lap, because um, like I said, track was much faster. I ended up catching the mini bees and girls class, which I usually don't. But like I said, since the track is so short, I was able to catch up to them in a little bit of the big wheel class. But all in all, very very fun uh, Saturday. It downpoured on Saturday night going to Sunday, and I honestly didn't think they were going to be able to get a racetrack out of it, but with an hour delay, they were able to go and make an actual decent track. So, um, kudos to the JDA people, the crew, Andrew, Ethan, all the other people that helped work at JDA um, for getting off I don't know how they pulled it off, but pulling off a somewhat of a good track for Sunday after what happened. I mean, it was honestly impressive. I thought they would cancel it, but surprisingly they didn't. And I know quite a bit of people did leave because they also expected them to cancel. So Right there, did a switcheroo. I um, got three lappers at once right there. Just kind of cut in. I saw it coming. And I knew if I were going to the outside, I would probably just get caught with those two lappers ahead. So I ended up just like scoring up the corner, getting tight past two, and then getting past the other one down the hill. Here, Kitch gets on the throttle way too much and uh, just slides out. And then right here, I, I slow it down for you guys. You wouldn't see this rock, but that rock right there, it was, it claimed a few victims. And one of them was Jonathan, my best friend. Uh, <laughs> He said it did not feel good. He said he did like about two front flips or something, so. Luckily it wasn't me. <laughs> anyway, here we're coming more towards the end of the moto. They actually started raining a bit towards the end of this moto. And this was the only race where I actually used quite a bit of tear offs in the moto. I think I used. I think I ended up using 17 in just one moto. Because. Um, on Sunday, of course. Because the track was so. Like sloppy you would just go through it and it would just fly up but as you see check it flags thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe let me know if i should do vlogs i'll probably like start choosing off some days to do vlogs and whatnot but anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed